Hello everyone, welcome again to UK and another on the road video. Today we're going to have a bit of a drive around, a bit of a chat, go and do a delivery. So let's get on with today's video. So I've been doing a bit of driving off stream. We're in Berlin at the moment, as you can see, um, over on the right of the map. And we're going to take some fast food up to Rostock. So let's get loaded up and get on our way. So, of course, the first thing to do is go and see the guys at the freight office. Um, so here we are. We have our pickup. And we're just going to um, do a little signature. There you go. <laughs> now we're going to go and um, unlock the doors. Come on, door. Come on, second door. There we go. So let's get out of the way while the lads load the truck up. And then you should be able to see we've got uh, fast food in there. Let's go and have a look at it. There you go. It's quite cool, isn't it? I love the fact that we can visually see the load. I think it's so important to the immersion. So uh, let's, uh, let's shut these doors. And get on our way. So this will be cool actually, I've never been up um, the full north of the map, so this is this will be new for me. So uh, let's make our way out. So first and foremost, thank you for all the support um, you've been showing my on the road videos, I do appreciate it. Um, you leave lots of comments, lots of likes, and I do appreciate that, and I love getting involved, and I answer as many of the comments as I, as I possibly can. So a massive thank you to everyone um, who's following the series so far. And the reason I'm following the series, and I think a lot of people are misunderstanding, um, I'm not here to say, why don't you stop playing... Um, Euro Truck. I think there's a lot of people who are taking uh, my videos of that. I'll get a lot of comments saying, I'm sticking to Euro Truck, or you don't need this, stick to Euro Truck. The reason I'm covering this game and interested in this game is for the console players, including myself. I'm a console player as well. You know, there just isn't this level of simulation, of driving, and activities and things to do on the console. All we've got is truck driver and I used to follow truck driver truck I followed it from before release and I tried to stay as positive as I could about it and I tried to cover everything I possibly can but that game just died a death and it's not going anywhere and we haven't got any new content this game um, is already a hundred times better than truck driver with a hundred times more things to do with better graphics a hundred si hundred times more um, AI on the road so this is very very interesting from a console point of view that's why I'm following it. That's where my train of thought is with this, with this game and this series and these videos. And as soon as I can show you what it looks like on the PlayStation and the Xbox, I most certainly will. I haven't got a release date. Their trailer does say um, this year, 2020. So in my mind, I would probably get... Um, get in your mind the idea that there's probably going to be a delay i can't see it coming out this year um it's i, I don't know i just I, i've got a feeling in the pit of my stomach that it's probably going to be next year which isn't a problem as long as the port is good and we get pretty much what's here that's what i want i don't want a cut down version for the console i want everything we've got here because everything we've got here is actually a really good game i enjoy this game i enjoy playing it to go back to Euro Truck and American Truck, I love those games. If you look on my channel, there is loads of hours of me driving around in American Truck and Euro Truck. Absolutely love the games. I'm not going to go away from them. I'm not going to play this instead of that. I will play this as well as that. You know, I like to play more than one game. But my real interest is I cannot wait for console players to finally have a proper trucking experience i mean this is actually a pretty good game and i think it looks nice it plays nice there's loads of stuff to do um the map is definitely big enough of course you could always have a bigger map american truck and euro truck are always trying to increase the size of their map so it's you know it, it's it it's plain in your eyes that um oh it did a red light there of course we always need more map to drive around of course but this is a great start and i've got a good feeling that with the influx of cash which is going to happen when this releases on the console they could possibly get to work straight away um, and start expanding germany the game is set in germany so i don't think i mean as i get a lot of comments saying 
wouldn't it be great if they went to a UK, um, you know, sort of setting, or could we have an American setting? That would be fantastic. But my trying to fault with this game is that they're probably going to stick to Germany, um, as you as you can see from the map. This is all set in Germany, so you know where where can they go with this without um, ex expanding on Germany? And so I think that's where I think that's where we're going to stay. But like I said in my first video, when I found out that this was Unity Engine, exactly the same as Truck Driver, I was a bit like, mm, okay, I'd much rather it be in the Unreal Engine. But saying that, I think it looks nice. I've got no problem with the graphical look of this game. And actually, the motorways, I did come up with a point in one of my previous videos that, you know, the motorways were quite samey. But motorways are samey, aren't they? And I think they've got the look of... Um, actual motorways down quite good i think it really does look like a motorway i mean here you've got some really nice trees i think it looks great they haven't put trees both sides so that's sort of quite realistic they've kept a sort of realistic feel to the scenery there are other trucks <laughs> on the road which truck driver um has struggled with and a year on there still isn't other trucks um ai trucks on the road which is crazy but this is um unity and there are some similarities with uh, truck drivers certainly uh, ev even the sound it sounds similar but graphically and detail and size of map is all way way better and actually there are some differences with with american truck and euro truck you know in those games you don't get to walk around i can park up near uh, and get outside of my truck and i love that aspect of it um massive on immersion and detail and you know this game has got some um some sort of brave elements that i know players in euro truck um based on my comments and my live streams they would love to be able to get out and walk around now i know um american truck and euro truck have included that in the garage now so you can walk around to a certain extent um but here you can walk around in the landscape and just go off for a walk i don't think you can like jump over barriers and go in the forest and all that sort of stuff you are there is quite a sort of confined area around your truck but i still think it's a great feature and also the feature of seeing what's inside your truck is absolutely huge. I love that. Also, there's multi-drop as well. Like, we're just carrying one small load, um, four pallets of fast food at the moment. Well, what we could do is we could work out our journey and do multi-drops, which again is unique and fantastic. And you'd be able to see the, the truck empty out as we uh, proceed through those journeys again you know this is coming to console this is exciting um, stuff for console players it really is so that's why i'm covering the game it is not just a case of why don't you stop playing euro truck and play this instead that's not where i'm coming from and the unity engine has always got a really good sunset and a sunrise system in it the sunsets are absolutely glorious um, it's got dynamic time of day I haven't seen rain in it uh, I don't know if it rains but I know it's got a, a dynamic time of day um, I'm on cruise control at the moment so it has got cruise control as well and of course they are licensed vehicles so this is a Scania so everything is in the right place it's all based on the real real vehicle the trucks aren't as good as American truck or Euro truck. There's no doubt about that. They have got um, a much finer edge of detail in American truck. But if you compare it on the console, what else have we got? Truck driver. Well, this is miles and miles and miles ahead of the truck detail that you get in truck driver. So already, if if they can if they can port this game with what you see here. I think this will be absolutely massive on the PlayStation. I will say one thing though, I don't think this will be 60 frames. I think they'll try to pull over what we've got, but I think it'll be a 30 frame um, on the current generation of consoles. Who knows what's going to happen on the PlayStation 5 and the Xbox Series X. I don't know. They're only talking about PlayStation 4 and Xbox version at the moment. Maybe there'll be a soft upgrade if you play it on your PlayStation 5. I've, I've no idea. But if you actually look here and compare this to what a real road looks like, this is spot on. This really is. Yeah, you could say, well, this is a bit boring, but it's trucking. And if you are into a trucking game, you sort of accept this as part of your journey. So, yeah, 
in my first video I did say that mm, the, the, the motorway sections are quite samey but actually that's how motorway sections are so if anything they're just realistic it's cool I, I enjoy my time playing it I really do and it's got everything we need all the little bits we wanted from truck driver like the the speed displayed on the sat nav um, and stuff like that now there isn't as we saw earlier there isn't a fining system for going for a red light if you speed as you go into a town it does actually have speed cameras and bottom right of the screen you get a um, picture that the speed camera has taken and you get fined but you don't get fined here for speeding we can um, we can speed right up so you can see there on the um, it's gone red so we've got a red bar 90 kilometers is as fast as we can go but there's no um, speed cameras here we're not gonna we're not gonna get fined at all but like I say if you go into a town speeding past speed cameras you will get a little picture which is actually a good touch uh, you get the actual picture that the speed camera took which I think is quite cool and you get a small fine but yeah it would be good to have a little bit more sort of um, deterrent to speeding or going through red lights that's for sure the old petrol stations look cool as well and we've got to get out and actually manually um, do the petrol not just press a button truck stop there some trucks with loads some trucks without you know they, they thought about it and this was out on the PC last November, so um, it's not it's not years old. Um, there has been a few updates. There's no mention of DLC or anything like that. I think their next port of call is to get this working on the console, which I'm really genuinely excited about. I mean, look, that looks pretty cool, doesn't it? And that's an MAN truck. Uh, they're in the game as well. There's only two types of uh, brands of trucks, MAN and Scania. I'm not sure of the range, but I will be obviously grinding it out and buying more trucks for you um, to show you as much as possible. But yeah, I'm enjoying making these videos. Uh, like I say, when we know exactly when it's coming out on the console, then I'll start doing more live streams so we can have a live chat about it rather than me just rambling on in these videos. Also, I don't know if you, you just noticed that, and this happens in Truck Driver as well, so I'm sure it's something to do with the Unity engine. When you're going at a constant speed, like you are now, you might be able to hear it. It's almost like the soundtrack cuts out and starts again. The same thing happens in Truck Driver. Really strange and actually annoying because it's always breaking your immersion, like you're listening to a soundtrack of a truck rather than the actual truck itself. You might be able to hear it in a minute. You sort of get this quick stop and it's almost like the truck um, soundtrack starts again. Very, very strange. So that, considering it's in this game and Truck Driver as well, it must be a Unity engine problem because they both suffer with it. So nice to see other trucks on the road. The selection of AI on the road is not actually that bad. Going past another petrol station. Let's see exactly how far we are into our journey. So if we press M for map. So we're coming past the petrol stations now. Um, yeah, we're, we're, I did skip a little bit of it. But yeah, we're doing, we're doing all right. It's cool. I'd love to know in the comments section what you think of these journeys that I'm uh, uh, showing you in these videos. I would love to know. So feel free to get involved. As I say, I do try and answer as many comments as possible um, in the comment section below. But like I say, you know, there is one train of thought that says that these, these journeys are a bit boring. But if you're after a trucking game, it's these sort of journeys that you relish. You know, you want to settle down. You might have a bit of music on. You might have a bit of Netflix on. Um, me, I'm chatting to you. But I know a lot of um, a lot of truckers do have something on. They might have a screen on with a favourite episode or listen to an album. And these journeys, they're just relaxing and it's it's nice. There's a feeling of progression in this game. You've got the um, the leveling system. You've got the manual feel of loading and unloading and getting out of the truck and going to the freight office. I love all that aspect of it. They've tried something brave and I think it pays off and it does set it aside a little bit. Did you hear that sound just cut out and come back on? Very weird. But the little bits that they have done to try and make it different makes it stand out. You know, it's not just another 
I mean, it is a copy of American Truck and Euro Truck because trucking is trucking. How can you, how can you do a trucking game without copying Euro Truck? That's just the way it is, isn't it? But the fact that they've tried to put in different things of loading up and all the rest of it, I think it just sets it aside a little bit, and I really respect it for that. So to get something not only like Euro Truck, but Euro Truck with a few little individual differences on the console, I think this is going to be a huge hit. I really genuinely do. And uh, I know I can see myself putting hours and hours and hours into this game on stream, chatting with you lovely people. There's no multiplayer. So it is a shame, but it's just something... I'm not bothered by it, to be honest with you. Yes, I would like to drive along um, with um, you know other players. It would be great. But there's no multiplayer, so we're not gonna we're not gonna worry too much about that. This is a single player driving experience, driving around Germany, picking up loads, manually getting out your truck, unloading and loading. I love that aspect of it. So that is what we've got. The bit we haven't got is multiplayer. I'm not too fussed about that, I'll be honest. Um, same as truck driver, everyone wanted multiplayer. And the funny thing is, in American Truck and Euro Truck, um, Euro Truck particularly, I don't really do multiplayer that often. I always look at it as a single player experience and just very occasionally nip over to the multiplayer um, on a stream or to play with the lads um, in the community. But generally, I just look upon it as a single player experience anyway. The multiplayer can be a little bit mayhem with um, everyone trying to get on the boat or the um, uh, parking areas at the same time. So the fact that that isn't happening in this game doesn't bother me one bit. It really doesn't. Of course, people are going to always be saying, can we have multiplayer? It's a natural request, isn't it? And it's a genuine request. But I'm just looking at this game as a single player experience. And I think it's probably, probably the better off for it. I suppose if you look at it from just purely a console point of view, it would be good to have co-op, but then what if you're at one side of the map and your friends at the other? I suppose you could spawn on each other and drive along, but what are you actually going to do with that? So a co-op mode would be interesting, but it have, would have to be implemented for a reason. And I'm sure that their development time is just getting what you're seeing here. Now if you look at this for an example... This, this section that we're going through, it does actually look realistic. It really does. This is how motorways look. So, yes, I suppose one part of me thinks, this is a bit bland. You know, there's not the great big hills and uh, all, all the scenic areas. But this is quite realistic, isn't it? And I think that this is going to be realistic, convincing, immersive, and interesting to drive. We've got to go over to the right. Looks like we're going to come off the motorway now. So let's take that um, sat-nav off. But I think the sound actually sounds pretty good. I've got a truck coming up the inside. It's... Oh! It, whoa, whoa, whoa! Okay, we got hit. <laughs> we got hit. There's no mention of any damage or um, any cash being taken off so that sort of thing especially from a console point of view you know I think console players would ex well most players actually would expect some sort of um, expect, expect you to be penalized in some way or another for having a collision with another vehicle but it's not there it's not there the same as red lights you can go through and that really does need to be looked at <clears throat> Yeah, that part of it is a shame. Like I say, it has got the, the speed camera, and we will try to do one. We will try to speed as we go into town. So, to give you an aspect of scale, uh, let's see where we are now. Yeah, so you could see, you know, these journeys do take quite a while. And this is only one section of the map as well. Um, so, it's not the whole map. We are just going from Berlin to Rostock. So, we're almost there. So, this, this, uh, let's do the speed limit. But like I say, dynamic time of day as well. You could do this journey of a night time uh, or in the sunset or the sunrise. It looks absolutely beautiful. My last video, I actually, um, we, we, we drove through the night and watched the sun come up. And it was pretty spectacular. It was really cool. I will link it at the end of this video. But hopefully you've enjoyed this journey. Like I said, I'm going to be doing lots of these uh, smaller journeys while we're waiting for more news 
as it comes to the console so uh, as I said thank you for your support I know you're leaving me likes and lots of comments and I get involved with as much as I possibly can um, of course people are asking me for the release date I haven't got the release date and if I did have it of course I'll give it to you um, so as soon as I know anything of course I will put it in a video for you there's no there's no doubt about that the second I know anything extra about this game I will let you know there's no there's no uh, holding information back. As long as I'm allowed to tell you, I will tell you everything I possibly can um, as soon as I get it regarding this game coming to console. Um, right, we will stop at this traffic light. We will. We will. Let's be, let's be proper. And of course, we have got an external um, view as well. Oh, <laughs> I rolled back a, bit, a little bit. I'll put the brakes on. It's fine. These um these messages uh, bottom left sort of almost like reminders. You can take them off, so you haven't got to put them uh, put up with them. You can you can take them off. Cheeky left indicator. So we're almost there. Right, we don't want to speed. <laughs> right, left turn here. Oh, we're actually taking it to the garage. Oh, we're taking fast food to the garage. Nice. Okay. I think we've got a reverse into there, possibly. I'm sure we have, you know. The arrows are telling me. Hmm, okay. We'll try and drive in there, but I... It does seem weird that I would have to reverse... When the flow of traffic is going past, let's have a look. Yeah, I think this is a reverse. Um, I'm sure it is. The back doors need to be facing this way, which isn't a problem, but it does seem a little bit strange. Yeah, okay, so what we'll do is let's, um, let's do a cheeky turn. If that's where the game wants it, that's where the game can have it. Should be fine here. Okay, let's reverse. It's also got this feature as well, which I'm really happy about. I love this feature from uh, uh, Eurotrap. Absolutely love putting your head out the door. I think it's fantastic. So it's already got that feature, which I'm sure will be built into the console version. Um, really happy about that. Okay, so we're going to drive up here until the arrows go green, which they are. We're going to put our handbrake on. In fact, let's uh, let's turn it off. So let's go and see the lads at the freight office. Well, the shop in this particular. Uh, there's <laughs> there's our signature. Uh, deliver fast food. Okay, so we've gone in there. We've let them know it's here. Let's go and open up the back. I left it in reverse, hence the, uh... And there we go, so we're going to deliver the fast food. Um, I've actually done quite a few journeys, and the levelling system r seems really slow, actually. But we've got some reputation, we've got some money, everything's lovely. There's the stuff. Yes, it would be good to see an animation of unloading, but that's fine. I think there are animations in the game, but not for this particular load. So let's, uh, let's close up and get ready for our next journey. But that is it, everyone. Hopefully you've enjoyed this journey, having another look on the road. I will keep you as up to date as I possibly can. But that is it, everyone. Have a lovely day, and I'll see you in the next one.